If I told you I was visiting a school where nearly 90% of kids either ride or walk to school every day, you'd probably think I was in Denmark or Holland, and you'd be wrong. How about Ipswich? This is Kesgrave High School, where rain or shine, a staggering 86% of pupils walk, wheel or ride to get to school every day. That's an incredible 18,000 low-cost, healthy and sustainable trips made every single week. The national average in England for walking to a secondary school is 37% and for the riding part, just 4%. So just how has Kesgrave booked the trend? It was as simple as good planning when the local area was built way back in the 50s. They didn't just build roads, they built a network of cycle lanes. In fact, many of these pupils enjoy completely traffic-free routes to school, entirely protected from motor traffic, save for one or two crossings. That gives parents the confidence to give their kids transport independence and, of course, unshackles them from the daily grind of the school run. But how do the people who live this every day feel about it? I just find cycling a lot easier to get to school. It's actually quicker to cycle here from my house than it is to drive. Because you, if I drove, I'd have to go all the way around, whereas I can just cycle straight through. So it's a quicker sweep through. And it's just so standard. I mean, you know, you come to Kesgrove High School, everybody bikes. I mean, in the mornings, you know, I get up, get dressed and get the bike out of the garage. It's the first thing I do, ready to go. A typical day in a normal English town, but one where people have been given what they need to be able to use the car a bit less, save a ton of money, and tackle climate change. But more than that, it's given a young generation transport independence, and I think it's quite wonderful.